What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about the Tesla Roadster. This is the new Tesla sports car that is set to come out in 2020. It was unveiled about a year ago, zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds, 250 miles an hour, top speed, 620 miles, fully electric range. This is set to be a record setting car in terms of quickest acceleration um, and performance in the entire world, beating out gasoline cars. So everybody's hyped on this. You can reserve one today for 250 grand but we've been getting more and more clues about a potentially upgraded performance version of the Tesla Roadster with the SpaceX option package that was first mentioned by Elon Musk at the Tesla shareholders meeting last year. And originally, after he mentioned it, he included this sort of like very funny cryptic tweet that was said, not saying the next gen Roadster special upgrade package will definitely enable it to fly short hops, but maybe dot dot dot. Certainly possible. Just a question of safety. Rocket tech applied to a car opens up revolutionary possibilities. So it's like, okay, of course we have Elon joking that the new Tesla Roadster might be able to fly short hops with some sort of SpaceX option package. Nobody really knows what he's talking about. Everything goes quiet. Then just this weekend on Twitter, Elon Musk tweets, the new Roadster will actually do something like this, uh, quoting a GIF that someone named Richie Hill tweeted, uh, which just says 2022, and as this car, like, hovering, looks like a DeLorean from the future, um, this sort of, like, hovering car, basically. And then Elon Musk says, the new Roadster will actually do something like this. And that's the cryptic tweet, leaves it there. Okay, that's one thing. Then, of course, MKBHD, one of my favorite tech YouTubers, comes in and says, the thing is, I feel like you're not joking. Elon Musk replies to him and says, I'm not. We'll use SpaceX cold gas thruster system with ultra high pressure air in a composite overwrapped pressure vessel in place of rear two seats. So that sounds like a very fancy way to basically explain that the back of the souped up SpaceX Roadster is essentially going to be this massive uh, compressed gas thruster system that will be able to make the car levitate. He says he's not joking. Like, Hard to believe. Anyway, MKBHD replies, um, sheesh, I kind of love this. Uh, I assume it makes a little extra weight, but I didn't need the back seats anyway, and this is going to be unreal to drive, dot, 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 wide open areas. And then Elon goes, plus, you can basically accelerate at the limit of human endurance. When a manjot replies and says, quarter mile in less than eight seconds, Elon says, no problem vertically or horizontally. So this is another hint that it, it could actually take off a vertical mile up in the air. So this like can fly, not just hovering a little bit over the ground, but like significantly over the ground. And then the last little interesting like cryptic tweet we got from Elon is the everyday astronaut replied, serious question. I know you're planning on COPVs and such in the back seat area and some cold gas thrusters, but why have the thrusters on the bottom when you want to decrease downforce unless simply to fly? And then Elon replies with just the winky face. So that is what we have here. Elon Musk is, is hinting that the new SpaceX option package for the Roadster is going to allow it to fly short hops or at least hover. I mean, this is insane. No car that I know can do this. Of course, leave it to Elon Musk to put, you know, SpaceX cutting edge rocket technology into the backseat of a Tesla Roadster. I and mean, if you think about it, you know, it's electric. The car is going to be incredibly light except for the massive battery. Um, so maybe there's they can generate. I mean, I am not a scientist or physicist or I, I have no idea on the actual feasibility of this. But if Elon Musk says he's going to do it and keeps referencing it, this is the kind of thing you don't want to write off as a joke, especially if he says it's not a joke. And so I, my my theory is Tesla's going to unveil this. Um, you know, they'll probably deliver the Roadster normally in 2020. Then 21, 22, they'll make this SpaceX option package available. It's probably going to cost like five to $10 million. I mean, I, I'm guessing, but it's going to be my guess is millions and millions of dollars to get this because the technology just seems absurd. But I mean, every single rapper in their new music video is going to want the Tesla Roadster hovering and flying. I mean, this is so I mean, it, and it's so funny because Elon Musk on one end, you know, he's building the boring company to build all these tunnels to get rid of traffic. Um, but then on the other end, Tesla, as much as he's hated on flying cars, looks like it might be launching its own car that could actually fly short hops. You know, like you're on the freeway in L.A. Like, damn, I wish I could just get over there and just get rid of this traffic. Shit. <laughs> taking off, flying, VTOL jet. And why is this so crazy? The last reason I wanted to throw in this episode, or the last thing I wanted to throw in this episode is so crazy is Elon Musk several, several times has mentioned this crazy idea for a VTOL takeoff and landing jet, a vertical takeoff and landing jet that is fully electric, that's supersonic. Mr. Musk, how are you? Congratulations on the promotion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Those Merlin engines are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea for an electric jet. 
You do? Yeah. Then we'll make it work. Um, I mean, I've been sort of toying with the design for an electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft for a while. There's a lot of opportunity in electrification of cars, uh, of aircraft, and of uh, boats. And I think there's a particular opportunity for um, a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Um, that's something I'd love to do at some point in the future. Uh, basically something that just shoots up like this um, with the thrusters underneath, like, psh, and then basically turns the thrusters to the side and then can take off as a supersonic jet. So this is something, you know, he's talked about, he's referenced, he said he wants to build it, he has the design. And so now I'm wondering, like, is that the Roadster with the SpaceX option package? Or, like, how much similarity is there? I mean, yeah, a VTOL jet. I mean, we've seen startups like Lilium who are already trying to build their own electric VTOL jets. I mean, at some point, if this, the, the Roadster is a fully electric car and it's going to fly, it seems like it's getting so close to actually being a flying car, especially now that it can do short hops. So is that count as a VTOL jet? I don't know. Is this even feasible? I don't know. But anyway... I just wanted to make this episode because I think this is unbelievable. Tesla is the coolest company in, on Earth. Elon Musk is a real-life Iron Man. He's building an option, the SpaceX option package on the Roadster. It, he says the cars are going to be able to fly short hops. I mean, this is so epic. I'm already stoked. I've decided I need to get one of these, so I'm saving up. Subscribe to the channel. Donate on Patreon. Do what you guys got to do to help me out. I also have a Tesla referral code. Um, if you are buying a new Tesla or solar, use my code, and if I if I get enough referrals, I get a free Roadster. Probably not with the Space, SpaceX option package, but worth a shot. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Just wanted to clue you guys in on probably what's going to be the most epic car of our lifetimes when this comes out, um, the new Tesla Roadster with the SpaceX option package. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.